also known as Noble Strength, and I am back continuing with the series of my colored series collection of handbags. I don't know how you would say that. Today we're going to be looking at my brown bags. So if you like that kind of thing, please stick around. Stay tuned. I'd love to have you. So let's just go ahead and just jump right into it. John Romaine. So this is my first John Romaine bag that I ever got. And I got this at the flea market and I know I paid uh, less than $20 for it. I can't remember if it was 10 or 15, but I got a really great deal on it nonetheless. And this is just a bag that I fell in love with at first sight because of just the uniqueness of the bag. I'd never seen a bag like it before in my life. And I just like the tweed on here and the leather trim with the brass hardware. Now for the sake of the video, not being too long, I'm not gonna go on the details on the inside of the bag, but John, Ro ba John Romaine bags do come with a date code in them. And this one is from 1989. So that was the year that I graduated from high school. So there's a little bit of a nostalgia to it. It does have feet on the bottom and it's just a really nice structured bag. That bag spearheaded my love affair with John Romaine vintage bags. And as I always do, if I really get into a particular uh, brand or bag or whatever, I like to do research on it. And this was a brand that was really popular, you know, back in the 60s amongst the, those who are in the preppy subculture of our nation. <laughs> but this bag is also a John Romaine bag. And this one is a little bit heavier. It's got a lot more structure to it. It's a lot more substantial and really nice. But same thing, it has this nice tweeting on here. Um, you got the brass hardware. And this is a flip up open. Now this bag, I can't remember if it had a date code, was made in 1968, 1968. This is just amazing. This is why I love vintage and just shopping for thrift store because you find treasures like this. This is so well taken care of. I'm not letting this go. This is one that is made out of straw. Now what I love about this is each one of John Romaine bags is so uniquely made and this bag has its own unique weaving. Look at the pattern on that weaving. Now I have not studied enough about weaving to know the particular name of this style of weaving, but if you're one of those people that knows, let me know. Um, but it's like braiding going one way and then this wider weave going another way. But you still have that nice leather trim, the brass hardware. And I just think that light colored straw against this dark uh, leather is just a nice contrast. Really, really nice. I paid $3 for that at Goodwill. My last John Romaine bag is this cute little picnic basket like bag, which is absolutely adorable. Now this is what I mean about the different type of weaving. I just think that is so unique. I guess that's just the artist in me but that's just really nice. And then it has the turn lock detailing. And then once again, you have that nice deep brown and the contrast on that. Very structured. It's held its shape well over time. Very little wear on it. This was so well taken care of. And um, love this bag. Let's see when this bag was made. It doesn't have a date code. This one was made in 1971, which is the year I was born. So I just thought that was cool when I thought at this, that this was the same age as me. This bag I got, I believe it was last year, and I got it at either Marshalls or Ross or TJ Maxx. It was one of those three stores. I always get them mixed up and become a blur because they're so similar. But this is just a Rattan bag, really, really nice um, bag, circular bag, kind of like a canteen bag. And just has the gussets on the side, but really cute leather trim. And I think I paid like maybe 14 or $15 for this. This has to be one of my favorite out of my brown bag collection. And that is this Melbourne um, convertible satchel and pecan. This is the Croc Boss, And this is just the perfect size bag. It's like a medium size bag. And the handles just, I just love this bag. I mean, I love everything about it. The color, the size, the accessibility, the way it's designed. So you have this back slip pocket that's really, really nice. It's got this nice kind of velvety uh, interior. 
on the inside and there is just a subtle, so subtle magnet right there on the back. And I like that it has feet on the bottom and it's got that nice Brahmin detail. This is the only Brahmin bag that I own now. I used to have at least maybe four Brahmin bags, but I've sold them or uh, given them away. So this is the one that was left standing through all of the purges and I will not be letting this go. It does come with a crossbody strap. So you have the D-rings here where you can wear it crossbody, which that's how I wear it a lot of times and really nice interior. All right, another bag that I got offline, Amazon from Pajushi, which makes really nice leather bags, is this duffel style bag that is very reminiscent of the Speedy bag from the LV company and also the Boston bag from Gucci. It has a very similar imprinting on it like Gucci, but it's just little circles. And I just love the leather on this, very well made. And this is like an oil slick embossed leather. And I just think that's a nice feature for that high gloss sheen. I get a lot of compliments when I carry this bag. People always want to know, is that a Gucci? Oh, that is so nice. Where did you get that bag? They're always asking questions. But it does have the D-rings on the side, so you can wear it crossbody and really nice uh, inside. It has, you know, zip pocket and slip pocket as well. And feet on the bottom. Another one of my favorites in this brown bag collection has to be one of my first uh, bags that I featured on my channel in one of my earlier thrift hauls, and that is this Etienne Agne or Agner bag. I absolutely love the weaving on this bag, just fabulous. I also like the flip lock here. That's how you open the bag. You just slip it and then it has the zip. But I just think that is such an awesome feature. And then it, this is actually a pocket that you can slip things into. So that's just a nice feature design as well. And I just like the gold on it, it's very nice. I'm not sure what year this uh, design was featured, but it does have a crossbody strap. And I absolutely love it. Very, very nice. This is my Coach Cali clutch with the Guang Yu print. And I just think this is really nice. Uh, this bag can convert as a wallet in a larger bag because it does have the removable chain strap. So see, you can unhook it here, it's just a chain. And it's like a wallet because you do have places for your cards, zip pocket for coins and all of that stuff. And then you also have this little feature on the back. So it could be a wallet, it could be a clutch, it could be a crossbody bag, it could be a wallet on a chain. I just absolutely love this. So that's the beauty. beauty here is my Dooney and Burke. Uh, I believe this is called the Tasha drawstring bag. And this bag is just so adorable. I do go into more detail on my channel. I'll keep a, a playlist. I'll link the playlist below of all of my handbags if you want to watch some older videos. But I go in detail in on this bag in that video. But it's really nice. It's got the feet and nice features. So doing it We're getting close to the end. This is a nice coach bag, and I'm not sure the name of it. This was gifted to me um, last summer, or I should say early spring, because I'm a spring baby, June 8th. But this was gifted to me by one of my friends, Gail. She's so sweet, and Gail has her own channel. Please check her out, September Gail. But she's an avid thrifter, and she has a keen eye for quality. And I was just really blown away that she would send me, uh, she sent me several bags, and I just was really, like taken aback that she would um, do that for me. It was so thoughtful. But this is one that I really like because it has the classic uh, coach uh, design on the front and then your nice brown trim. I just always like with the, uh, if you're gonna have the C's for it to be in coated canvas, but then to have that nice contrast is really nice. You have some really nice features here on the chain links as well. It's just a really well-made bag. You have the removable strap so you can carry, you know, like this on its own or crossbody. But what I really love about this bag is the way it's designed set up. So you have your two zip pockets and then you have this center snap for easy accessibility. So this is where I put my phone when I use it. But 
love this bag. So that's another one that was in that packet that Gail sent to me was this cutie here. And I do not know the name of this one, but what I love about it is the handle. It has a nice clip where you can just move it to the other side and wear it as a wristlet. So you can wear it as a shoulder bag or a wristlet, which I really, really love. It's got that nice silver hardware and just really, really cute. You guys know that I recently got into doing my novelty handbags and I thought I'd go ahead and throw this one in there because it is mostly brown and that is my uh, pretzel bag by Betsy Johnson and I just thought that was adorable and cute with the mustard pouch so I have that one. Don't get it twisted now. I do not discriminate when it comes to bags. Love it. Another um, Betsy Johnson that I absolutely loved was this one here, and that is the croissant bag. It's got the little Paris Eiffel Tower and flag, and then it says Ooh La La, French Kisses, and I just thought I'd include this one in because this could go as a, you know, everyday bag. You could, it, fit, it would fit a small wallet, your keys, and you know, like lipstick and things like that. So you can have all of your essentials in this one little cute little bag. bag that I have is this uh, Tory Birch tote. And I can't remember the exact name for this tote. Uh, I'll leave it in the link. I'll put all of the names on the screen. But this is just a really cute bag. It has this snap pocket here. So this is actually a workable pocket and it snaps like that. And then you have the snap opening and then you have snaps on the side. And I do a detailed thorough review of this bag as well. You can find that in the playlist that I'll link below. But this is another one. And I thought since it's like in the tans and browns that I would include it in this um, category. Can't forget this one because this is the one that I ask everyone's opinion about whether or not I should remove the stamping. And the majority, if I had to guesstimate, I would say 98.9% .9 of you said to leave it alone. And you know what? I'm glad I asked for your opinion because I'm gonna leave it alone. Some of you came up with some really great ideas on just coming up with an acronym for it. Uh, amazing, magnificent, wonderful, you know, just so many different things that you guys came up with. So I wanna thank all of you for taking the time to comment and tell me your opinion because it really did help me in making a decision because I can be very, very indecisive about things. I can go to a restaurant and if there's more than three things on the menu, I'm having a hard time deciding what I want. So I'm just very indecisive when it comes to that. And as an artist, that is a not a good quality because when you're painting, it's like, should I stop? Should this be my stopping point? I don't know, should I put, or should I do this? And then sometimes you just have to just, just step away and be like, okay, I'm done. I'm not doing any more because I just cannot make decisions, you know, when there's like so many different choices. So thank you for helping me decide to just leave it alone. So that is what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave it alone. But this is the Olivia Shopper from Gigi. Uh, now here is the last bag in my most carried bag out of my brown bag collection. That is this Ellington Hobo bag. Love this bag. I thrifted this for like $3. Phenomenal leather. Had never heard of this brand before. Just really well made, nice thick leather. And it has a nice interior slip pocket, zip pockets with a key fob and everything. So just really, really well made. And that's it guys, That those are all of my brown bags. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I didn't bore you guys, but I just love bags in there. I just love the aesthetics of bags and how they're made and just, just I just love it. So if you're like me and you love bags, comment below. We're all in this together, right? I'm so glad we have this community online. But you guys take care and remember to be a good steward of all that God has given you because he truly loves us so much. Bye.